and well, it's like I say in the philosophy that I presented. You know, I think a lot of will. People argue about whether will power is real for various philosophical and epistemological kinds of reasons. But I think a lot of it is unconscious. And you're kind of saying that. Listen, somebody doesn't consciously know they're having this communication, but they're taking part in the communication. They are the actor in it, so they do know. And it's and the it's, fact that it's, it's unconscious so doesn't it's mean it's only not their because will. Because they just let it go there. It can be conscious. It yeah. becomes conscious as soon as you walk into a party yeah. where you don't know anybody, or a bar yeah. where you look at a girl, or or any a, yeah. a situation well, where I you're want to a boss and you have to. I want to have a chance resume. to summarize one thing, which is to say that. Though I call a manipulation, there is a, you know, that word also means just to grab with your hand. So to, I'm putting the hardest term on it, but basically I think in performing, one way to talk about manipulation is the audience wants to be. They're like, come on, I'm here, let's do it. So it's not a bad thing. But now here's the other one. I want to talk about this following thing too, because it's like, you could call it probable restraining order or something, but it's this mime. So I, you could correct me if I'm wrong, but I was thinking about this and... I'm sure I've seen mimes doing this for a long time, you know, where mimes follow and act like somebody. But this is more where that is what you do, right? You, you specifically, that's the whole act. And you follow people and you mimic them. And I, it sounds dangerous, but you've done it and kind of pushed it to the limit. And that's another, uh, and, and we don't have to limit it to body language. Maybe it's not about body language, but that's a very interesting interpersonal thing. I would thing say where it you, is about body language. There's an sure. art of acting like the person, which is a great mime skill. But the well, bigger you know thing is how do you approach that person? As much as we're talking get... about body language, now that you say that, you ask a point, a lot of it is in body language. But body language is for a larger topic, to a camera, to an um, audience. Really what you need, why you bring up a volunteer is because you can fake body language to your audience. You get that volunteer up and you can't fake eye to eye. Yeah. And you be nice to that volunteer eye to eye and the audience will know you'll be nice to them or comfortable with them, safe with them. You know, and so when you get close to somebody in following, which you don't have to do, I can follow you from across the street. You know, and so what's the general and idea? And everybody following. has a different. I find it really cutting right? edge. And so tell people, could you tell, like, just just describe what is following? A following is mime, but not quite like pantomime as older before mime was. You don't lot, act like, like there's a box. Over, over exaggerated, no. But you it's use part the of mime where you interact. You, like you, if somebody looks sad, you, you hand walk, them a flower. Do you do that part or technically, no? Technically, <laughs> technically, you walk down the street and you put the same movements that somebody has in their body into yours. And a mime, they will, know a mime will be able they to don't do know this. Necessarily. I have a dislocated shoulder. The mime teacher knows this. It, it's things, and so he can see that in a body. You know, he looks right. at your shoes. At, you so mean he an unconscious you, technical he study of the body? You, exactly. He follows you exactly. It looks amazing. He, you're exact. But isn't it like method but acting, the, where you just try to feel like purpose. they look? That's the technical purpose. Yeah. The the real the real art behind it is being able to put the same. Like the same thing. thought in their head emotionally as the other person. This part takes hundreds of hours. It's it's technical. It looks really good. But when you get the emotional face, the people can feel it. And if the person's funny and like, oh, big happy gangster, it can be funny, you know, or they're in high heels. But mostly it's just like the audience goes, wow, I didn't know that I could see how that guy felt by the way he walked yeah. and moved. But now that I can see the performer... And I can see he's exactly the same. It dawns on me that I did know. What do I know? I'm not sure. I don't know any more that he's happy yeah. or he's sad. Or, it's almost and educational. The more, the more you look at it, the more you can find. And, and you're it, teasing and people. This is educational. That's why it's not Do you think it's fair to people say it's teasing people? It. You're kind of teasing no, on people. it's not fair it's to say. Friendly it. Because teasing. you wait, you can tease. And that can be funny. A tease is funny, and it's very easy to fall into that. But a tease is for the public. And when you're following, the number thing one you have to realize is this experience is an individual experience. And when you follow, you perform for one person, whether 300 people or 1,000 or 10 are watching. It's for that one person. If you forget and I use you to make a joke for them, which is real typical of performing and getting yeah. a volunteer on stage, but not so much you're following, you get nothing out of it and they get something. But this is, this is for you. And the audience doesn't get the same ha-ha, but when they see a person interact at a relationship in a distance that they spend their whole life to work towards, to make mates that they can get drunk and be like, ha-ha, yeah, yeah, I all love you, or a girlfriend stranger. that they can get up to, or whatever, well, you think people when you can develop a relationship with somebody in 30 seconds by moving in really slow and put your hand up against the muscle junkie with tattoos on his face and go, oh, 
nice yeah. friend. The, they blow their mind. They yeah, people spend their whole about, life to develop these relationships with their women. You think women, that's what the audience is getting? Our relationship out of it. is simple. It's quick. It has no. It, it doesn't. It's not for lasting forever. But yeah, the audience is. But wait, like, that. didn't you do one where where you ended up like with the, with a police officer or something, and you jumped in the car? Well, we we use it to create gags that are just funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that and so that one it was great and it's magic for sure as a performer. Well, we does that work for magic, the audience? But it's not funny. Were they, no, they it's must for have the been audience to be shocked. Arrested. It's for the audience to be shocked. Yeah. The, it's a, but is it because they think you can't get that close that quick? You can't be because, a friend with the cop. Like if they were buddies with the cop, they could they jump think, in the car and What goof, they think but. is that if you tease a cop, you're going to be cited for it or at least frowned upon. But you can tease a cop and get the cop to smile and participate with you. If they're going like, how did you ever do it in the right situation that the cop didn't give you a ticket? I go up behind the cops and pretend I'm going to shoot him with my fake gun. And now normally this would be very aggravating for them. They got a real job to do. They, you know what I mean? But if you do it with the right thing, like, hello, officer, look what I got. But I mean, are you then winging it like a skateboard or you just, I don't know where the steps are. I'm just going, no, or you're, you, you're it, technical. You're winging it. But you have here's a technical how, But approach. here's how you wing it. You come where in you real slowly. It. As soon as you get within striking distance of somebody, not because they're mad, but out of their own I know what comfort, you mean. Yeah, out of their zone. comfort, yeah, not yeah, because they're a, mad, but out of their comfort, real zone, yeah. you move in very slowly. And so in that sense, I've gotten... Not everybody appreciates every single thing that I've tried to give yeah. them. However, I've never gotten close enough to anybody that wants to hit you that would. You know? yeah. I mean, you feel that energy. The best thing is, is when a really tough guy walks by that's mad and angry, and he, you can see he wants to beat somebody up because his girlfriend dumped him, and you look at him and you're like, oh my God, I'm sorry, buddy. And you let him go. Don't touch this one. The whole audience is like, yeah, don't touch that one. And he's like, oh my God, thank you. I was about to have to beat you up. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's like, you saved me a lot of time. I, I just dumped my girlfriend and I'll beat you up and I'm going to get in trouble. And I really probably didn't need that. Yeah. You know, I mean, it just... So, no, you are winging it, but hopefully you give everybody their space. And some people, they want to be followed really close and comfortly. And that's what's funny about it. Two guys, arm in arm, having fun. The other, what other stuff is funny is that you follow a muscle junkie, but you don't get arm in arm with him. You follow him from yeah. here. And then you follow him from here. And then from yeah. here, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very interesting thing. I'm, I'm interested in the, the subconscious versus the conscious part of in it. The, because in the following, in the following, it's not purely just mimicking their emotion. Sometimes you'll meet their emotion and respond to it. If somebody has a purely negative emotion, he doesn't want it mimicked, and the audience don't want it to them, and there are certain people with such a negative time that they just need their space, or they should be locked up, or mm -hmm. or you, they're just not, they don't want it, no. And so you leave them alone. They don't have something good to offer, or maybe they just, maybe they do, but not at that time, and so you have to come at them with a different aspect, you know. Maybe you yeah. don't mimic them, you know. Sometimes some guy wants to beat somebody up, and I can see that, and so what I do is I'm like, okay. And I get really small, and I go like this, and before I can get up to him, I'm like, pow, 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 okay, enough, is, enough. And I let him mind beat me up, and as far as, as far as the audience is concerned, the mental image is the same, he just beat me up, and he gets to go on his day, and he got it out, and he didn't have to hit, kind yeah. of, like, I don't have to make fun of his energy, and can take it and go somewhere else. Because I see his energy, and it's not good to mimic for the audience, you, yeah. can, you can play with it, you know. Well, what would be fun? We, as the audience, we always see the engagement. Like, if we're in the street, we'll notice the engagement. It would be cool to get, like, I don't know, mini cameras or something people, where we can see the choosing. That's what fascinates the biggest, me. The biggest crowd I ever choose? built one time was this drunk was yelling at me because he thought it was his turn to make a show. He doesn't make a show. It was a drunk, and we have those on the streets. And he's yelling, and I hadn't even started, and people love the drama. To me, it was kind of disgusting. People love that drama. He's yeah, going to yeah. start a show, but they didn't care about my show. They wanted to see me get yelled at, yeah. you know? People love that How'd drama. that turn out, though? Did Great. You the show? People, the show once that drama's created in there and the tension, they're like, now what are you going to do with it? And so it was weird for me, but it worked great. Yeah, for sure. I got a Fine. huge show out of it. And well, cool. Let's crowd. leave it at that. That was very interesting to me. I think that's exactly what I was hoping to get into. So, All right. Okay. Thank you, L. Ron. And he's going to be in Copenhagen this summer and probably various Follow other European... People. Spots. I'll be safe. Okay. Bye-bye. Cool.